up? I'm Bonjour. Uh, I'm back, if you couldn't tell. And this time I'm gonna be doing a thrifting haul because I've been doing a lot of thrifting lately. Like, what can I say? Like, it's addicting. No, honestly, if you haven't been thrifting, you need to go, like, right now. But anyway, yeah, I've been thrifting a lot. And I've collected, like, a few pieces here and there, and I thought I would show you guys because that's what I do. That's what we do here on the interwebs. We share. It's a family. It's a community. So, without farther ado, let's jump right in. So, the first thing that I got was this little shirt that I got from Victoria. Well, I got it from the whatever the thrift store but it's from Victoria's Secret that's what I'm trying to say this is cute little pajama shirt and I thought like maybe it'd be cute in the summer with like some cute little little printed pants or even with jeans but yeah it has like this little crochet detailing it kind of got dirty because I already wore it oopsies but uh yeah this one was I'm gonna try to say the prices of all of them but you know my memory's kind of not well and I already ripped the tags off of half of them but this one what I think was $3.99 which honestly I find it a bit unnecessary for this little piece of fabric they call a shirt but I was like you know it's cute I always stop myself from buying things because of the price but I'm like it's $3.99 $3.99 wouldn't even buy me a necklace at Forever 21 so I was like why not and then, yeah I love it so there's that and the next thing that I got is like my new obsession was this silk robe which I've been obsessed with silk robes like every time I go thrifting I'm like where's the silk robes like I need one I but I got this emerald green one and they're all silk and this one has this beautiful lace detailing on the edges right here these are borderline like grandma ish I can imagine somebody's grandma walking around the house with these but you know it's all about perspective I see this as like something you know cute and a little bit sexy but also you know like ah, let me just throw on my silk robe looking fancy in my house yeah these silk robes were only a dollar 99 and let me tell you it's the best dollar 99 i've spent oh it has pockets <laughs> it has pockets y'all that's crazy that's great all right the next thing that i got was this white silk robe and it has this really pretty flower detailing on it. And this one sadly does not have pockets. Oh my god. The last silk robe that I got is this navy blue one with all these really pretty flowers on it. And it has a peacock on it too somewhere. Like, let's just take a minute to admire this amazing piece of work. Like, do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? What in the world? How can one piece of clothing be so pretty? And I got this for $1.99. Like, do you know how happy that makes me? And trust and believe, I will try to make an outfit out of these robes and wear them outside the house. Because, like, check this out. Nobody can check me in my little blue full silk robe. Like, who? Who's gonna check me? The next thing that I got was probably my favorite thing, only because I wear it all the time. It's comfy. It's cute. What more could you ask for in a clothing piece? And it's this fleece. This little green fleece. <clears throat> and it's like a soft, like a... It reminds me, I feel like if I were to touch a Sesame Street puppet, this is what it would feel like. Like, it just feels so soft. And it's green. The color is really pretty. Like, I don't own anything this color. So I thought, uh, why not get this? And it has a little zip-up thingy and the hoodie's quite clutch too. And I got this for, I think $2.99, $1.99, who knows. So the next thing that I got were these pajama pants, which I didn't even know were pajamas until I got home. Even though I got them from the pajama section. Or did I? I think I did. But oh, what caught me off guard was the fact that I looked at the tag, and these are from Target. Like, from the Gilligan and O'Malley brand. So, they're just these little flowy little pants they're kind of they're ankle cut which they're borderline water what is it called high waters that's what it's called they're borderline high waters but i feel like it works i don't know how to describe patterns look at it look at it admire it and i got these for i think $2.99 finding jeans at a thrift store is so hard like i don't know what it is about finding jeans I think I'm just picky but they also just have ugly jeans but I got these high-waisted light wash Lee denim jeans these are really big I'm a size like four 
and I'm pretty sure these have to be like the size I don't even know like seven is there even a size seven but they're pretty big they're really baggy they're kind of like the cute baggy but they're a little too baggy so I might cut them into shorts and just roll them up and wear like that loose um, shorts look and I think that'd be cute with like a maybe like a oversized tee tucked in with like a belt like that would be so cute mm. yeah that would be cute but I think I got these for $2.99. These were really, really cheap. So I was like, I gotta get them even if they don't fit. I can always DIY them into something else. And I'm glad I got them. The next thing that I got is something that I'm trying to like step out my comfort zone. So the next thing that I got was out of my comfort zone. I've never bought just pants like this. But I thought I need to start taking chances with my clothes. I'm tired of sticking to the safe side. So I got these emerald green. I'm like green is like my color. I just realized that. Like green. But I got these green high-waisted dress pants, and I don't even know what happened right there. I'm going to have to iron that out. But they just look like this. They're just normal um, pants, and they fit perfectly. Like, I was about to just, like, go walk out and pay for my stuff, and then I was walking out, and then I saw this color, and I was like, I should get it. And they're only, like, $2.99, so I'm like, even if they don't fit, like, I can always just, like, redonate them. But I came home, and they fit perfectly, and I was like... The next thing that I got is this little cardigan. Well, it's not little. I don't know why I said little cardigan. Like a, I would call it a swamp yellow. Because it's not exactly yellow, but it's not exactly green. It's like a swampy yellow. But this one's kind of big. I got it's Oh, it's a large. No wonder it's so big on me. But it's like really oversized and comfy. And it's kind of see-through too. But I, the color is what really caught my eye. Like I'm obsessed with this color. Anything, anything green, orange yellow I'm on it like I will reach out and grab it I don't even care what it is like I just need that color in my life I'm like ready for summer obviously like I cannot deal with this it's not even winter like where I'm at where I live it's like it doesn't want to be winter it's like nah I'm good but the next thing that I got was this denim jacket and it is by the brand Cosmo Cosmo jackets and I was so happy when I found this because I've been looking for like a denim jacket I want to win in blue but gray is really pretty too and the thing that I really liked about it was the little distressed part right here like anything distressed and it, it like has a story behind it, it has character but yeah I think this one was like $4.99 and this was like the most expensive thing that I got and it was $4.99 the last thing that I got was this big old orange turtleneck that I love so dearly it is a large it's just like a normal cotton t-shirt I got this from the men's section that's another thing that I like to do is look in the men's section they always have like really good pieces if you're looking hard enough but yeah this one was I think $2.99 and I love it and I might cut this into a crop top because it's pretty big it's like long enough to be a dress but kind of too short to be a dress so I'm not really sure so I might just like wear oversized so that is all that I got for my thrifting haul I'm gonna end it off with a few tips for you guys I'm not a pro I've only been thrifting a few times I mean I've been here and there but I never really go with intentions to find anything like spectacular but now I go and I'm like I'm ready to find something tip number one would be Take your time because you're not going to go in there and find something immediately. It's going to take you a while. Tip number two, go with a friend. That's another really important part. Go with a friend who might share your your fashion taste. Or maybe not because sometimes they can tell you like when something's not cute. But if you go with somebody who might have like a similar fashion taste with you, like they might, or as you, they might pick out a piece that you would have never picked out yourself. So that's a plus. Another tip is to just look out for colors that you're really into. Like if I saw a color like this in a rack, like I would just grab it. And that kind of helps you get through the clothes faster because it's like hella clothes. And, and another tip would, is to try things on because there's so many items that I picked up on the rack. But then when I tried them on, they weren't cute on. So yeah, um, take your time and go with a friend. Look for certain textures and colors and try them on and you will go home with some pretty nice pieces for the low low but yeah that's all and i'll see you guys hopefully in another video very soon so yeah thanks for watching you're really you're a real one for watching